Well, I think you guys are doing the right thing by recognizing that, you know, in this area, people are starting to rehome when they do hit maturity and, yes. and trying to avoid that is awesome. Well, I don't, I'm not, I didn't buy her to rehome her. Exactly. Him. I, we've bought these birds for life because they're going in the world to Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So what I would like to do is kind of reframe um, what your realistic goal can be and should be. Um, one, we really don't advocate putting birds on your shoulders for several reasons. Um, one, one of the main reasons is that it, we're discovering that, especially lately with female blue and gold macaws, they have been using shoulders as kind of a crutch, like a pacifier. So rather than learning how to address a fear and overcome it, they just go to your shoulder and they don't have to deal with it. Okay. So it's a passive way of avoiding learning how to overcome fear. There's a great book if you're into human psychology called Emotional Intelligence and it talks about different different ways that humans develop and why they develop certain yeah. traits. First of all, address what is the emotion and now how do I deal with it? And so the same thing happens with, and again, specifically I've seen a lot in female blue and golds lately, they go through that same thing it's like oh you're okay and the, the bird just kind of pacifies and goes to the shoulder so i'd like to just kind of readdress that and and sit and suggest that rather than um having the bird on your shoulder ever um focusing on how to handle the bird properly in a way that helps it learn to assess different fears and learn how to deal with it and a lot of that it's it sounds funny but a lot of it's just yeah. how you hold the bird's feet when we put our thumb on the bird's feet we can feel the first signs of fear and then we can address it with them and help them overcome that as opposed to the first moment where if you're not holding their feet the first moment they'll just go to your shoulder yeah. and run away from the fear versus get a chance to work through it so let's focus on Maya first yeah. I would love to see how every one of you can have her step up and back down to the perch yep okay. cool <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll accept that. Let's we'll try someone else. No more. Come on. 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 Come you're increasing or decreasing likelihood for certain behavior. And ideally, you're increasing the good behavior, on, decreasing bad behavior, but that's not always the case. Step up. Oh, oh, you're not sure today. That's all right. We'll, oh, we'll work through it. <laughs> there you go. There she goes. If you won't go on your finger to go on the perch, you have to bend down to the perch to get her off the shoulder. Oh, my. Oh. Nope. You want to go back down? Yeah, she does this and she goes down your back and in the middle of the back and things like that. So that's another reason we don't put them on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Benny, he's easy. He'll just step on, step off, anything. Okay. And he's not fussy with any tree. He'll just ease whatever. <laughs> right, you want She's help? Way more challenging. Way more. Yeah. Do you want me to get her off? Oh, this is going to be great video. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. She's lovely and fussing and not vicious in any way and all that sort of thing. I'm, I'm here to so part of this is Offer your hand. avoiding yep. having to Keep learn Yep, go ahead. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. So let's do, have you done any target or touch training? No, okay. right? I only just found a clicker finally. Oh, right. it was like a week ago, and I left it at home this morning. You're lucky. Yeah, you one. must have had one. <laughs> so we're gonna move her over here. Yeah. Let's get you to. Well, so a lot of people forget that the step up is a trick. Yeah. Okay, so we treat it as a trick. So every one of you struggled with the step up and it's totally normal. Here's the way I teach it. 
she knows I've got some food. I present the hand. And she's not wanting to. Yeah, I may go. I may go from the back, and there we go. She gets a treat. Goes immediately back down. Immediately back down. Okay, that's the reason for that. On that case, for me, she didn't want to be on me. You could tell her looking around. Yeah. She wasn't comfortable. Yeah. A couple things happened. If you're working with an adult bird, you approach from the front, and it does the head ducking, the next step is just going to bite you. Sometimes I find it's easier to reach from the back, and the bird steps back more willingly. So I'll try it again. Let's just see. Oh look, now she offered. Mm -hmm. Step up. Doesn't know me. I'll put her back down. So there's there's a reward for immediately for stepping up and a secondary reward which we would refer to as minus reinforcement for her going back down meaning i'm taking me i'm minusing i'm subtracting me from the equation to get what she wants all right so she's getting a plus reinforcement of the treat and a minus reinforcement of me leaving her the heck alone so let me just get another repetition in also pay attention to where she stands on my hand yeah. and how what my thumb does yeah. So now she's anticipating it. She's up, thumb goes down. Yeah. At the yeah. same time, I give her the treat yeah. and then back down. So what's also happening is I'm pairing the timing of the treat with the timing of my hand touching, my thumb touching her foot. This will start to basically do what's called neuro-linguistic programming. So the association of my thumb touching her feet is going to be associated with the pleasure center of the brain receiving the treat. Mm -hmm. Oops. So I'll let you, you give that a try. Are you left or right-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed. So, yeah. so I'm going to give you those. And go ahead and try that. Thumb go Yep, thumb goes down, Good treat, down. and back to the perch. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she'll do. She's like, mm, I'm going to Because she feels comfortable there. It's because you allow it. This is one. Yeah, no, it's great. I'll do it again. No worries. I'll show you one more, one yeah. more tip. So you were great to, uh, Did the, you got one foot and she was like, okay, I'll get the food. And you're like, no, not yet. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Some people yeah. make the mistake of, hey, you got one foot up. Here's a treat. Yeah. Make your attention again. So watch what happens. Left foot, thumbs there. She's not going anywhere. So if you want to give it a shot, yeah. try to get her to do her left foot first. She's offering it there. So you can the capture, yep. yep. So you can get her thumb on there now. Yep. Treat and back down. Back down for the treat, yeah. Good, good, good save. <laughs> so what you're also noticing is whoever handles her, she will get used to that certain way of being handled. So if you always allow the bird to run to your shoulder and you don't, she'll take advantage of you and she won't take advantage of you. Perfect. And back down, good. Well wow. <laughs> so try to get her ankle foot first. Oh, her back, her back she down. used you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. One with the bracelet. Move your. Come on. She had like that, so she the thumb up. Maybe try to thumb up. Yeah, Check block it. it. There, there you, you go. go. Down, down, down. Yeah. Treat, 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 treat. And back down. And back down. That's it. Good. You need a different clicker. <laughs> and a different one for the bird. <laughs> So each of you know who's doing it right. Yeah. That was a really good tip you gave him though with the thumb because it blocked yeah. her yeah, ability yeah, yeah. to yeah, do yeah. that. So yeah. good, good advice. Good job helping each other out. This one. There we go. Okay, so watch your body language. You'll see it there. You can see her like yeah, squirming a bit. Had my fingers not been on her, she would have gone from my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. What that does is if you're moving her from one cage to another. That's what we do normally when we are. Because normally going from the cage to the house, she's on the hand. Yeah. But when you're sort of handling her when she's out inside the house, yeah. it's always, always, always seems to be the arm. Yeah. Because that's what she, she kind of has. Yeah, she's actually been telling us, no, I'm going to go there. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah. And the only time that we allow our birds on our shoulders or on our arms is when they're free flying. I mean, that's really, there's a few other exceptions, but the rule of thumb is uh, the rule of thumb is if you can't get the bird off immediately, it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Okay. So, like so you guys are saying, you have to you. scrape her off your back. You have to yeah. do this limbo to get her on the perch. Yeah. Then, then no, you shouldn't until you have her under control enough that she understands. Hey, step up is a treat. There's a trick. I get a treat. I go down and get a treat. You know, those are the basic handling. So you don't have to always give her a treat for the rest of her life, but in the beginning yeah. phases, just recognize that's that that's, it's a yeah. trick. 
Because she doesn't lie never... to her parents? No. 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 <laughs> what did you do that for? Huh? Do, you guys, do you guys see the difference in how Dave is approaching? Can I have Can I have you do it again? Yeah, yeah. Jasmine, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Watch how she does it. Okay. Perfectly done. Look at that. She's really good at it. <laughs> Perfect. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so it's, it's hard for me to articulate exactly what she's doing differently, other than she's reading more of the bird's intention. But I think um, she likes to run up onto my shoulder because she does it in the mornings and then onto the cat. She would run up onto mine too if I let her. Yeah. I think it's a difference of how the arm is too. Is that, yeah, it's, I think his yeah. is more like this? Is that what you're yeah, seeing? It's yeah. a ramp. Because you, you're, yeah. you're relaxing yes. your hand, like whereas that. if you have it a bit more firm, yeah. try that. Yeah. So, yeah, so rather than presenting all of this, yeah. present just that. Yeah. Mm. So now show her the treat the other hand. Reminder she's working for it. Step up. <laughs> we might. Yeah, she doesn't want to play with me. for a sec. We'll come back to her. Yeah. Let's jump I'd love to see how you guys have them step up and down. Step up. Okay. Yeah, he's doing it. That's amazing, especially for Step you. up. Okay. Will he for a treat? Step up. Yeah. He's the easy one, really. Good boy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, I got him. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I see you. Hello. Oh, Hello. Oh, no, he's not really being a bird that likes to be on your shoulder anyway. Come on. Yeah. Step up. <laughs> you don't want to play the game today. <laughs> huh? Step up. Okay, so I tested you guys. <laughs> in the beginning, I said, remember, step up is a trick. Yeah. Not one of you tried to use a treat for that. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You mentioned that when he goes to your shoulder, he'll tear into your ear, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't put it. We don't put him on our shoulders. With a lot of birds that are forced to step up, Meaning, you peel their toes, you push against their chest, because it's a, it's a command, step yeah, up. Yeah. Always think of it as a request. Hey, will you step up? For the two of you in the first time, he's like, no, I don't wanna. And then when you offer the tree, he's like, oh yeah, I'll step up for that. Kind of keep that in mind. We call it permission-based training. We want the bird to come out when they're more likely to make the choice on their own yeah. to come up. Yeah. If you get in the habit of pushing or peeling toes or forcing yeah, him to step I'll walk up, away at home. I don't... eventually he'll learn to bite you because you don't respect that it's not the that that um, boundary. It, that boundary, yeah, it goes back to the emotional intelligence. Like what you're feeling doesn't matter. I know better. Step up, and it causes all sorts of other issues. Step up. Good boy. So Dave, one thing I'm noticing with you that it'll just be something you'll want to work on yeah. is you're you're definitely approaching like this, yeah. which is why you're getting the shoulder rushing a lot. So try to focus on if, if all they see is that, yeah. that's where they're more likely to go as opposed to all of this. You're all right. Just coming up in the front.